Welcome back to another Reading and Correcting with me, Kindar, the Tiger Knights, and Ty, the Tiger Supervisor. These are where I read a chapter from one of my stories and correct it as I go. If you want to listen to these live, it's every Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time on Twitch. And if you are looking to support me, that is on my Patreon. Today, we are doing Chapter 58 of The World Which Is. I can't say that Detroit snuck up on us. It's tough for something as large as a city to hide itself. But when I first see it, it isn't what I expect. Nothing much happened over the 10 days it takes it takes to reach. Nothing much happens over the 10 days it took to reach where I can see something of the city. Cracking, blocking, perception, archery, quick knocking, and mythology all Go all went up a level okay da, 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 da. you know what uh let me re let's, let's restructure this blocky ba 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 all went up a level level and tracking went up by two. There we go. went up two. There we go. Uh, there was one blow up between Ellen and Brandon, but they took the argument away before I could get in the middle of it. They didn't say anything to each other during the rest of the track. I think the reason I want to see Detroit snuck up on us is that it doesn't look like what I think think of when I okay yeah this is clunky the reason I want to say Detroit snuck up on us is that it doesn't look like what I think I think of uh yeah when I think of when I think of a city uh when I doesn't look like what I think think a city should look like. Okay, okay, all right, let's do it. Uh, the reason I want to say Detroit snuck up on us is that it doesn't look like what I think a city should look like. Okay, even after Toronto, I was still expecting walls, but even forcing myself to remove that from my expectations, what I'm looking at doesn't say city to me. Rowan? Maybe. There are no fields between us and the buildings in the distance for a start. I don't care how efficient a city is. A need for food is a constant, and producing what you can is better than buying it. I didn't see all of it, but Herbert told me how D Toronto is surrounded by farms producing the food it they need. The biggest fight within court, from what Bayes told me, was when the town had to expand and push away the farmers to make space. It's why they are far enough now. There's room for a few expansions. No one alive then wants to deal with a repeat of that fight. But here, the ground is patched. The ground is patches of dirt and brown grass. The few trees are sickly, thin with leaves that barely qualify as green. What happened here? Silver asks in disgusted awe. Detroit? Brendan answers, a bundle of fab a fabric appearing in his hand. Put that on, Dennis. It unfurls into a dirty, ripped, and smelly cloak when I take it. Do I have to? We don't want... We don't want who see... We don't know who's seen that image by now. Your image by now. We could have beaten that here, Ellen says, if you hadn't wasted so much time. He whirls on her hands in a fist. I can't see how much fed up he is, but how... In how he, he, it shakes, but he whirls back be, because I before I have to intervene. The look he gives me says he does that for me for me more than for her. I can't imagine what's going on between them that he's ready to come to blows. The look she gives me has a sense of are you going to let him get away with this? And I have to bury my annoyance at both of them. 
This is way beyond sibling, sibling animosity. But hopefully it's something they can deal with. They can deal with because I can see it being a major problem down the line. Do you have one that doesn't smell so much? I ask when Brandon's breathing settles. He shakes his head. The point is to blend in as much as possible. It's less important for us since it's just your image that's been distributed and we all look travel weary, but you need to hide your face. And in the part of Detroit's we're going to walk through, nice clothing is just asking to be mugged. If you have clothing you didn't get a chance to clean, now is the, is, is the time to equip it. Even you help. He grinds his teeth and takes a breath. Ellen, if you have something more common folk, now would be the time to equip that. Of course, he concludes that display of self-control with a glance in my direction for, his, for approval. What is he, six? I equipped the cloak and wrinkled my nose. I so don't want to pull the hood up. Silver is now wearing old travel, travel clothes and her hair is tied back with twine. Her violin case is, her, is in her inventory. And then clothes certainly looks annoyed enough in them to tell me they aren't her best, but other than slightly dirty, she's the best dressed of us. Brendan doesn't change anything about what he's wearing, but his pants are already not in great condition, and I think that's the shirt he had on for the last four days. I'd say he's been planning for this for a while, but other than dunking his clothes in lakes and streams we've come across, he hasn't been doing much to clean them. When Brand Brand when Brendan starts for the building, Silver points to the line of wagon in the distance. Shouldn't we go in through the city's entrance? The city doesn't have one. That's just a road in. There aren't any guards or duty collectors or anything else you think of when you think of a city. Doesn't Settlement need the need those things for the system to register them as cities? I point out. But Grandpa Lewis, the base commander, he's always aware of he's always aware of where court stands with the system in relation to its growth. Guards are at the top of the list from his point of view. It meets the minimum requirement, Brenton answers. Otherwise, Detroit wouldn't be a city. But having the guards doesn't mean that the city has to do anything with them. Now they do. Settlements don't just need numbers, they need things to happen. There needs to be patrol, specific production numbers. Brenda looks at me. I told you my grandfather is in charge of base. That means that anytime things aren't going to the major, to the mayor's liking on that side, he's complaining about it to, uh, to him as if Grandpa Lewis can do anything about it. Can't he? Silver asks. If he's a base commander, doesn't that put him in charge of the settlement? It's not that straightforward. Base is military as such. Base is military. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, this is for a reply. Uh, it's not that straightforward, I reply. Base is military. As such, he isn't a settlement the way Toronto or Detroit are. The only reason court was able to come me to become a town is because the only reason court was able to become a town is that by the time Grandpa Lewis, base, and everyone who traveled with them settled he where court is. There were such a variety of people and jobs. It opened a section they weren't aware was, was there. Basically, the part that runs the city. Grandpa Lewis ran that at first, but he didn't want the job. So when they found out they could divorce base from that, he made it happen. They elected a mayor, and they've been handling that side until things aren't to their liking. I add, and can't help mimicking Grandpa Lewis grumbling. Then it's like he never handled, ended off the position and he's supposed to fix everything for them. I'm surprised you know about bases and their commander, Brandon tells Silver. There's a military compound a couple of hours outside Montreal. As part of my bard training, I've performed there and got to see some of how it works. 
It's very different from the city, more regimented. The military has to be, Brendan says. But Baze doesn't do that, I add, before Silver can question that. He and Grandpa Lewis don't go into details about it. I know he is a military node. I know Grandpa Lewis and him met in Houston, that he was forced to become the commander. They didn't speak about the people who had the, who had the compound, but I got the sense they weren't nice. Forcing someone to do something against their will isn't something nice people do, Ellen says. The only aspect of, of his military side, woof. Um, the only aspect of the military side base deals with is last line of defense during monster waves and providing shelter to the townspeople during while they are going on. While they are going on, he hasn't had to act in defense. In defense of court in well before I was born. You keep saying he when you talk about the node, Silver says, I shrug. Base is a person. I don't know the details, but he, he's family. He and Grandpa Lewis act more like their brothers than commander and subordinate. And yes, Base cons considers himself a guy. When I asked him why, when I was a kid, he told me that wasn't a polite question to ask, and I haven't bothered asking again. I mean, does it matter? Like I said, he's family. Who cares what he is? Are all military nodes like that? Silver asks. I shrug. I only know base, and they never talked about in, of in, about encountering other military nodes, so I can't tell you. You have discovered a settlement. Detroit City. You have explored 0% of Detroit. I dismissed the message and looked at the dilap dilapidated, ugh, dilapidated buildings ahead of us. That's plural. Remember, everyone, Brendan says, Detroit is probably the worst place you will ever set foot in. Keep all your valuables in your inventory. Don't look at anyone. Don't let them look at you. And, he looks at me, for the system's sake, don't go off running just because someone is scr someone's screaming bloody murder. And that concludes chapter 58 of The World Which Is. If you are enjoying this, please leave a like. If you want to know when the next chapter will be up, subscribe, hit the bell. If you want to read this uh, story, it is up on Royal Road for free. If you want to read ahead of that and support me in the process, that is on my Patreon, where you can read about 10 chapters ahead. And if you want to listen to these live, it's every Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time on Twitch. Links are in the notes, and with that, I shall wish you a good day.